Now let's think about another um, situation. We have two computers, one and two. We have a virtual network. And we know that computer one is connected to virtual network using a point to site VPN connection that uses a self-signed certificate. We also know that the VPN client configuration package is downloaded and installed on computer two as well. Now you have to make sure that you have the same connection between computer two and the virtual network. And you are uh, asked to, to say what would you do in this situation. The key point here to remember is that you have a computer two. So um, during the exam day, uh, when you have a question, uh, when you're going to see a question like this one, check if you have a computer. And the answers that you can uh, get um, are these ones, for example, set up the set the startup type for the IPsec policy agent service to automatic. This has nothing to do in here. Or they can talk about Azure AD, and I think this is the part that is um, can be misleading. When you see Azure AD permissions, you can think that okay, this will gonna help me to establish this connection. This is not true. What you have to know and what you have you'll have to do is to make sure that you have the certificate installed on every client computer. This is the right uh, answer that. Um, you'll have to, to remember. Regarding the coding part, don't expect to get questions related to resources development because this is not a coding exam. They want to know if you understood concepts like Azure resources, networking, some configurations, and so on. What you can expect though, is to fill in some missing information in a script, and I'm gonna show you in a minute what I'm talking about. For that I created, actually let's imagine we create first a virtual network called Jungle Network that has this IP. Inside this virtual network we create a subnet with this IP address. We also create a DNS zone called Forest Local. And what you see in here is actually a virtual network link for the virtual network with the DNS zone. Then you're gonna get a script more or less like this one, and you'll be asked to fill in the missing lines. So these lines I highlighted here, they'll most probably be missing, and you have to find them. If you take them, so if you if we take these lines one by one, we we will see the way they are constructed. So you're gonna see AZ everywhere from Azure. You're gonna see network, which is normal because we are talking about networking right now. Then you're gonna have the resource. So you have VNet, private DNS zone, private DNS link, VNet, and then create. What's uh, also important to remember is the order of um, the operations because Firstly, we create the virtual network, then we create the DNS zone. And in the end, once these two resources are deployed, we will create a private DNS link VNet. This is uh, all you have to remember for this part. Don't bother to remember parameters, for example, or um, mandatory parameters or things like that. This, um, they don't, um, they don't care if you know this or not, not for this uh, exam. Of course, this is uh, important if you work in this field and you want to have an idea of the parameters that um, are expected uh, to, to fill in. But uh, for this exam, you won't have to remember any of this. You can also be asked to deploy an AKS cluster like uh, we have here. And for that, you have to make sure that your resource group is already created. Then you can deploy your Kubernetes. Concerning the CLI commands, there are two very simple commands that are requested. AZ group create, group for resource group, and AZ AKS create, AKS from Azure Kubernetes services. 
and a third one is enable add-ons this one actually this one is used if you want to enable Azure monitoring on your clusters so for Kubernetes I don't expect them to ask many questions I don't remember to have very complex questions during the exam day besides um, this so actually they require just the basics like in here to create a cluster maybe to add some uh, features on them but uh, nothing very complex if you are interested in taking more complex certifications for IKEAs there are other exams like CKA or uh, security for Kubernetes.